Hi, can I get a table for one? Yes, come on, come on. I, th I think these are it. I think I think I gotta do it. Hey guys, it's Friday. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am gonna be taking you guys with me on a solo date night. So right now I'm getting ready. I'm gonna just do a little bit of makeup, fix my hair, finish getting dressed, and yeah. So I will update you guys in a few. But get ready to come with me to a solo date night. And then we could talk about why solo date nights are important. And if you've been on a solo date night, you can share your story or share some places you like to go. So yeah, come on, let's get dressed, let's get ready. Okay, so first things first, again, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I don't know why my focus thing is not focusing, but we're gonna do a little bit of makeup. And yeah, I got my makeup bag. I finally got a little bit organized. I got this from um, TJ Maxx, really cute. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so apparently my camera is dying, so I'm gonna charge you up so you can um, maybe come with me. If not, I'm gonna have to take my phone, but we're gonna charge you. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna charge you, okay? I need you to be ready. Okay guys, so I'm about to head out and I just got on something very simple. Let me turn the camera around. Um, just got on a t-shirt from Zara, um, some jeans, Joe jeans of course, um, New Balance, real regular New Balance, yeah. So this is a fit, calm fit, bangs, Nicki Minaj vibes. Just kidding. Um, but bangs, t-shirt, jeans, New Balance, and we're out. And just a PSA: um, when I'm out, I like to like pay attention to my surroundings. I like to eat and just enjoy my own company if I'm out myself. So I'm gonna try to vlog as best as I can. Um, but let's see. I'm gonna put a trick it. I'm leaving my camera home, and I am going to be bringing my. Well, obviously, I'm going to have my phone with me anyway, but I'm going to be recording on the phone. So, yeah, the quality might be a little shaky, but don't act like I used to my phone vlogs because we just got this camera, right? Okay. Anyway, let's go. I'm out. Okay, guys. So, I'm just about ready to head out. And, again, t-shirt from Zara, blue jeans, blue New Balance. I'll show you guys in a second. And I think I'm going to put on this Canadian Goose cardigan that I got because <laughs> I don't want all my arms out like this. Of course, if I get hot, I'll take my sweater off, but yeah, no. So, ugh. wearing my cardigan. I'm a cardigan girl. It's actually a long cardigan, so I'm gonna show you guys. Whoops. Oh, got the little in the pockets. First time wearing this. Okay, <laughs> let me turn y'all around so I can show y'all. Okay, so this is the cardigan. It's long, pockets. It's like got these slits in it. Real simple, real calm, real chill. Just gonna get some food, maybe a drink, come home, <laughs> probably edit a video, watch TikToks, cause I ain't trying to be outside. Not too much, not too much with these people, okay? Yeah, so we're gonna be heading out now, so let's go. I don't know about y'all, but I like to wear sunglasses because I feel like you get different treatment when you wear sunglasses. Like, they sit you immediately. Like, sunglasses just scream like very important person, which I am. And I would like my table for one immediately, expeditiously, if that's how you say it. So let me try my sunglasses real quick before I head out. Okay, so I feel like if you do sunglasses, you gotta go to bed or go home. So I normally wear my Burberry sunglasses. Um, because they're big. But they, I forgot, they are kind of like fitted on my face. I don't know if my face got fat or my glasses got smaller. So I might just go with the um, Larvae, baby. L-O-R-V-A-E. Get you a pearl. All right. Again, big frames. Black, cute. It screams, I want to be seated immediately. Um, seat me now. Hi, can I get a table for one? Yes, come on, come on. I, th I think these are it. I think I think I gotta do it. 
okay so of course i love them i just don't know how i feel about them with the bang i don't know if they go with the bang <clears throat> I don't know why the things are like straight. I'm trying to get them to go. Going down. Mm. You see the things are like kind of straight. I'm having second thoughts. I'm having second thoughts about my hair. But we gonna do this. Okay. I just want to discuss with you guys why I feel like what I was saying. Oh, okay. So I just got back home from um my solo date and I went to Vita Verde, right? And there a bunch of times. Whatever. Um my first time going to Vita Verde by myself. I would say I don't think that was the vibe I was going for tonight. Um I think I was going for more like quiet low-key like you know and i was debating on going there or going to noble or going to like 40 mile and i think i probably could have did like a noble night because i wanted something a little bit more like peaceful quiet chilled you know somewhere to just think and relax and enjoy my own company um of course i enjoy my own company here as well um but it was just it's like vida verde is like a party spot not really party, but like they got the music blasting, people out of their seats, some people, whatever. But I sat there, I ate my salmon tacos. They were spicier than usual. Um, I had my yucca fries as my appetizer. They are so amazing. If you ever go to Vita Verde, make sure you try the yucca fries. Um, and I normally do like one drink when I go out. <laughs> I thought I wanted two drinks tonight, <laughs> and I definitely wasted my. $15 and left that other drink half there so um I got a pomegranate frozen margarita which was amazing and then I call myself ordering like yeah my phone is ghetto and never wants me okay got the camera because my phone is dying like I was saying um hold on let me set you guys here let me set you guys I don't really feel like holding y'all all right so like I was saying, um, I had the pomegranate frozen margarita, which was really, really good. Um, and I normally go for frozen drinks because I feel like liquor is disgusting. So if you're going to drink, I say do a frozen drink. But the frozen drinks are the drinks that sneak up on you. But whatever, right? I got a frozen pomegranate margarita. Mm -hmm. Drank it. No problem. Felt fine. Drink my water. Balance it out. You know, your ice water. And I was like, can I get a peach margarita? with ice knowing like i said i normally only do one drink and i normally only do frozen drinks so now i'm getting a second drink and i'm getting it on the rocks immediately no but i did it right um and yeah i i um i drink like half the half of it i couldn't finish it my stomach started hurting my stomach hurts right now actually um yeah and my salmon tacos were very spicy tonight but again like i was saying before um I think I wanted more of like a low-key vibe today, a quiet vibe, a chill vibe. So I should have went somewhere a little more quiet. But it's not the place. It's just the vibe I was looking for. So Vita Verde is great if you're ever out um, in Manhattan and you want to go somewhere. I would suggest going to Vita Verde. They have great food, great, great atmosphere, great drinks, all that, all that, all that. Right? Um, yeah. So real quick, I want to get into um, solo dates, right? I feel like solo dates are important. I feel like dates with your family, dates with your friends, date with your partner, all of that is important, but dates with yourself are also very essential. Um, we all need time to ourselves, whether it's whatever it's for, you know, like nothing's wrong with it. Some people feel like, oh, if I go by myself, I'm going to look weird or what am I supposed to do? Like you're supposed to enjoy your own company. 
and this is no matter if you're single, if you're in a relationship, if you're married, if you're a mom, if you're whatever you got going on, time to yourself is very essential. It could be going to the spa, it could be going to the nail salon, it could be doing all of that. But it could also be taking yourself out. It could be going to the movies, it could be going to the places to go eat dinner, brunch, whatever. And it doesn't mean you're lonely or you don't have man, you don't have friends, you don't have family. Like, because I got all that and I enjoy time to myself. So I think solo dates are very, very essential. And I've been going on solo dates for years and I love it. So, yeah, if you go on solo dates, I would love to hear about it. Um, if you have any recommendations on great places to go on solo dates, drop them down below. If you're in New York or anywhere like New Jersey, D.C., places like that, let me know and I'll try to check them out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my solo date. I didn't really get to record it again because the music was so loud. Um, I didn't want to get copyrighted, all that good stuff. Um, so I didn't really take no footage. And it was so dark in there. I didn't bring my camera because my camera needs to charge. It still needs to charge. Um, but I only was using my phone. And I don't like turning my flash on and being all obvious. Like, I want to be incognito and low-key. Like, I don't want no one paying me no attention. Right? So it was dark in there. So I didn't really get no footage. But again, went to Vita Verde. Had a solo date. It was great. That's it. It's a wrap. Gotta go to sleep. Have a last appointment in the morning. And another appointment after that. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you stay tuned for all the content that I have coming soon. And if you have not done so already, be sure to turn on your notification bell. Um, and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.